Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an NES ROM, a Nintendo Entertainment System ROM, um, for music. To do this, we do need FamiTracker. I will provide the link below. Once installed and ran, you should get something like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually import a MIDI file into FamiTracker and then convert it to an NES ROM file or an NSF NES music file. And just to show you, this is the MIDI we're going to be using. Okay, very short, very sweet. Um, the longer it is, the more memory it takes up on a cartridge or a ROM, and there are some limitations to this. So, the smaller it is, the better. So we're going to go to File, and we're going to Import MIDI. We're going to just find that on the desktop here. We want all five channels. Pattern length 128, that's fine. Click OK. Now, when you listen to the MIDI file, you can tell that it's just one instrument playing it. And these are your instruments here, and we're actually going to remove all the import instruments because they aren't set yet, so you don't hear anything when you play it. And since there's five channels, we're just going to add five instruments. Just right click and add, zero through four. And then we're going to hit play. Now, as you just heard, the speed is not set, the tempo is not set, and actually the instrument itself is really not set. So let's go ahead and take the speed down to one and hit play again. Okay, and as you can see it goes through it really really fast. So let's move it up a little bit and see what we get. Okay, that's a little better. Um, let's go ahead and mess with the instrument though. So you click on the first instrument. We're going to go to volume and let's set the sequence editor. Let's add a couple here so we can mess with the actual volume of the note itself. And you can actually hit play while doing this. See how that sounds a little better? Okay, we can mess with it a little bit. And basically you just keep doing that until you get the sound that you want. I usually just mess with the volume. I really don't mess with the pitch, the high pitch, or anything like that. And when you're done, you can just close it and it will save it. So let's hit play again. And that sounds pretty close. Okay, from there, there's not that many rows here. I mean, it's a pretty quick MIDI tune, so let's decrease the rows. Until we see them getting pretty close to the end of the tune. Okay, that's perfect, and it should keep looping. And I'm going to take the tempo to about 140. Okay, I do like that, so let's go ahead and create NSF. Now, this also has NES in here as well, so we can do either or. And you can just put your name as the pub or the name of the file. So we're just going to call it Tune Artist. You can put your name, copyright 2014, or whatever you want to do. And then we can select NES ROM. Export. Just save it to the desktop. 
And also, I really recommend doing an NSF file as well. And you can export it under the same name. It doesn't matter. And then once, if it's if it's successful, you will see all this progress information here. If it is not successful, it'll literally just blank and time out on you. So it's pretty obvious whether or not it actually worked. So we're going to hit close on that. And I always recommend going to file and save the actual FamiTracker um, project as well. That way, in case you want to go back and make any edits to the instruments or edits to the timing and the speed, you can. So now that we have those, you have an NES ROM file and an NSF, which is a Nintendo Entertainment System music file. Now I have two emulators here. I have an older one called Roo, which is really good with mappers. Um, so it'll play just about any NES cartridge you throw at it. Whereas Nestopia, usually some work, some don't. It depends on what mappers you have. But NSF NS files actually do play in here. So let's go ahead and try that first. Okay, so we know the that that works in the emulator. Now let's load the NES file in RU, which is a Game Boy and an NES emulator. Now the nice thing about the NES ROM file is obviously it will work in most NES emulators, but you can also put this onto a cartridge as well, whether you stamp it on a chip or use a USB NES cartridge, and I will be showing you guys that in a bit. So I've gone ahead and I've loaded our NES music file and our NSF music file onto this compact flash card. And I have here a NES flash cart. So I'm going to put this in. And now I'm going to put this in the NES and play it. <laughs> 